and somebody else, uh, Roberta, wants to assist with childcare costs more and scrap universal credits. And Jill has asked for lower fuel prices here. So lots of people have various views. Oh, we have Kathy here from, I didn't say where she's from. Give nurses, firemen and police a pay rise. They deserve it because they work long hours for a pittance. And she goes on further to oh, say really? perhaps all MPs for less would yeah. like to donate their high pay right. raises to these services. Yeah. I don't think so. What are your opinions and your views? 0800 756 1111 or text me on 8133 and start the message with the word Kent. Now, I did say earlier on we had a message from Gordon in Maidstone. I'm going to put the composer to Doug Bennett who's here with me at the moment. And he states, I'd rather not see a budget at all. Every budget, petrol goes up, beer goes up. Why do we actually need one? Proves how much you know. So, Doug, that why do we need a budget? Why yeah, should we yeah, have yeah. one? Well, we, we just need to have one. Um, if you think about your personal finances, um, we recommend as financial planners that that is reviewed on a regular basis. Things do go up, the cost of living goes up, so you need to make sure that you know, you're allocating the right funds in the right place. And that is the same for the country. It's, it's as simple as that. If we just Why didn't slide? check how we were doing, we wouldn't know how bad things were or how good they were becoming, <clears throat> whichever way you lead. So it is difficult though, because it just seems like they're, they're taking one place to fund the other. Nobody wants to, 50, nobody wants to bloody pay more 30. Out of but sometimes the money's got to come from somewhere. It's wobbly as well. Well, it, it has. There is only it's so much money to go around. Right. So uh, we have to make that balance right. Uh, we put taxes up too much. Yeah, for you need to wake up, you rich. idiot. Then we might find that they move to different places. <laughs> The taxes is less and more generous to their circumstances. So we've got one wobbling all over the place. I saw. Um, isn't he the one who first We did have something in the budget. Remember, a few years ago, lots of the people. It was the, some footballers, um, some people in the pop world who had these very clever uh, tax and trust schemes to try and get around paying lots of tax. And I think, thankfully. I think most of the yeah, loopholes are those are now getting closed down no, to stop the so people that are rich <laughs> that could afford the posh advice from the great big accountants. I said, have you opened them that, crisps again? Do you think that's working and do you think that was fair? I can smell the poo. That, that sort of thing oh, is definitely yeah, yeah. fair. Um, I mean, yes, there are rules and we have you know, the likes of Amazon and Facebook trying to uh, move their money to, to the lower tax places. Um, and so we do need to do something to you know, make sure that they're not taking too much of an advantage. And these loopholes do need to be closed. It's only fair.